Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Bob the Fool. Um, and this is... Uh, kind of a retrospective. I'm going to be calling it a year and a day uh, because I'm recording this a year and a day after I did something quite... Silly, in my own opinion. I haven't, I haven't been on this channel for <laughs> very, very much lately. I have been doing a different project altogether. For the last year, I streamed on Twitch um, every single day of the year. And I streamed a lot of things. Mostly, though, I streamed my hobby. Model making. Art. Uh, I did a little bit of some Kaizo Mario, which was pretty fun. I did a little bit of uh, some other games. Uh, mostly puzzle games. I streamed on Twitch every day for the last year. I should not have done that. <laughs> um... The reason why I did that is, well, actually, because of whoop, that, Unisonis. So, so for those who didn't know, as I'm collecting my thoughts here, um, Unisonis uh, was a YouTube channel that was... I reckon fairly large and probably fairly popular before it was deleted. That was created by uh, Mark Fishbach, aka Markiplier, and uh, Ethan Nestor, aka Crank Gameplays. Uh, that's his YouTube channel. I don't, I don't think anyone calls him Crank. People call Mark Mark because that's his name. But near the end of Unis Honest, um. Mark started talking about how anyone could have done what they did. Anyone could have decided to take a year and do a thing. Make a goal. Uh, do a video every day. Paint every day. Something like that. So I, I stopped... And I had the thought of, well, I'm anyone. I could do that. Uh, I could spend a year, a year, streaming every day. That seemed simpler to me. I wanted to stream thirty minutes every single day for a year. And I did that, and it was a pain in the ass. I won't say that was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it certainly was not fun doing it. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me personally, I do have a full-time job. The job I was in was very difficult uh, emotionally. So what I was doing was I was basically answering phone calls for people who had questions about their uh, delinquent property taxes in the state I live in, which is depressing, horribly depressing. Um, my my day was filled with talking to people in horrible situations um, and trying to figure out a way to help them. Uh, and a lot of the times I, there was no help. There was nothing I could do just because of the way um, laws are written, especially over the course of the pandemic. It was it was worse because on top of that, I 
personally I suffer pretty heavily with depression. Uh, I'm pretty open about it. Nowadays, uh, I wasn't so much uh, years ago. That that it's a personal struggle that I'm going through, that I've gone through, and I've dealt with, and um, it, it's way better now uh, than it ever was when I was younger. That did not help. Now, thankfully, I've been promoted uh, into a, an accounting position, and I don't have to do that anymore. But yeah, so I would I would come home. You'd think that I, you know, come home. You know, I'm exhausted. Let me do something fun, play a game, do some art, things like that. But I was so exhausted that the majority of this last year was me coming home and passing out, um, just taking a nap for a few hours, which you know has put a strain on my relationship with my significant other um it's you know caused me to not get a decent amount of sleep every night and i feel like i learned a fair amount about myself over the past year mostly that i'm a much better artist than i give myself credit for but also that i don't enjoy the spotlight at, at all uh, I don't I don't like being front and center I, I, I want to share my art and what I'm doing with people um, but I don't I don't want to put me in front of it uh, as weird as that might sound especially since your response to the, any reasonable response to this would be then why the hell are you recording something for YouTube? Uh, especially something this personal. And one, because I think it's important. Two, it's because that uh, I learned that the thing I really didn't enjoy about streaming was feeling like I had to be in character or, or a... a, a fun person to be around and mostly i'm a massive introvert i would rather just sit here in silence <laughs> by myself uh than hang out with people uh most days i i was one of the few people that came out of lockdown going and uh, i could use another four or five months of that please i i wanted to make this video and i wanted to talk about this Partially because I want to be a sounding board for myself so I can review and think about this later. But the thing that I, I also learned that I really wanted to do, uh, in fact I tried doing this in the middle of streaming and I just didn't find the time for it because streaming took all my time away, is I want to I wanna do more tutorial stuff. I, I want to do my hobby stuff. I want to work on the things I want to work on, but... I feel like I should be, I don't know, giving, giving back to the community <laughs> or like, I, I want to explain what I'm doing at every single step of the way, but when one step, when you're batch painting, say like 20 models and one step takes three hours, <laughs> um, I feel weird about every like 15 minutes. Now I'm, now I'm base coating. No, I'm, dry, I'm still dry brushing. Um, so I want to try the YouTube thing a bit more. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do a video every day. I'm not even going to do a video a week. I'm hoping to do a video a month because I, I can't run myself ragged for another year. I, I don't know. I, I guess what I'm saying is that my plan for the next year at least uh is to hopefully take take this channel along with me for the next year to uh, on on my hobby journal journey and um because i don't think in words i think in pictures uh, i'm very very visual I, I don't have an inner monologue i don't have a voice i can just blah. i have to very heavily convert images into 
words, which is hard to do on the fly, uh, as you might think. Or you might not think. I, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't know how odd that is. The thing of it is, is I still want to to share what I'm doing, and I still want to explain my thoughts and things like that. Um, as I go through the next year. Uh, so my hope, don't expect this to actually happen, but my hope is to do um, some type of video a month where I can kind of explain those slots and things like that. I don't expect them to be good. <laughs> I expect them to be me. I don't like the idea of putting up a persona. I don't like the idea of trying to be this other type of person don't even plan on making too many jokes to be quite honest just whatever bad jokes i happen to come up with i don't even plan on using this camera other than just for face uh because i have a much better camera here uh, that i use for model stuff i want to make some weird and wacky stuff of the next year and i want to fumble and screw up and play with concepts and ideas until I I run out of them, <laughs> more or less. I want this next year to be a lot more fun than last year. That's going to take a lot of work out of me, knowing me. So uh, that's that's where I'm at. Uh, you can, people want to, they consider, consider this a response to Lixian's video that went up a couple days ago on the 14th. Um, this video is probably going to go up in like a week because I don't have time to edit. Who has time to edit? The camera keeps busting on me. My, my hope for the next year is that I can take other people along with me and hopefully inspire someone else. That's that's kind of my thought process right now. So hopefully I'll I'll put out some more videos in another video in December. Um, hopefully explaining how the hell I paint my Bone Reaper army, and we'll go from there. Um, so yeah. Till then, you know what to do. Letters.